Hey Jammers and welcome back to another one of the Moons Masks videos. In today's video we will be doing the Coral Canyons section of the journey book. Now I know these videos, these recent uploads have been a little bit crazy. They've gone from journey book guides to theories to adventure guides. So I'm trying to get the craziness of all my new ideas under control. Now now, because I've already gotten all the Coral Canyon's animals and plants, I'm going to use my spare account, Demonized. Demonized is this wolf here, and you may have seen her in some other videos before of the Journey Book Guides. Now, I'm just going to bring my main account along to Coral Canyon's, and... My main account's just going to dance, and I'm just going to be here on my spare account. So I hope you enjoy the video. Yeah, let's hop into it. Okay, guys, so the first plant we're going to find today is probably the e easiest. It's like this Sagoras cactus sort of thing. Anyway, so you come here, and you just have to walk around through this plain space over here near the waterfall and then there's this big cactus near the bridge that's the cactus the Sagara cactus thing now the next one we are going to find is the daisies or whatever they're called I forgot I'm really really need to remember more things more often okay let's just hop into it so the daisy things are up here, so you have the waterfall, behind the waterfall, and they're up here near the snake game. There they are, the, ah, oh yeah, the dandelion. The dandelion is up here near the snake game. Now, the next thing we are going to find today is the rattlesnake. Now, the rattlesnake is up here past the waterfall, near swoopy eagle if you look straight down you can see the rattlesnake just peeking out and will eventually s slither back to wherever it came from now the next thing we are going to find today is the coyote now the the coyote is up here on the top of coral canyons the highest you can get up without a bird creature. Now the coyote will usually run along here and will come up to this little ledge point and start howling and then it will just disappear and uh, back over that way. So for now we're just my favorite bit we're just gonna wait and out he comes coyote crawling along. Now it's a bit hard to click it for me because because it is and so I'm just going to wait until it comes to a stop right here and starts howling over exaggerated towels. And that's the coyote, the omnivore of a coyote. Now, the next animal we are going to find is this, like, little robin bird. Now, if you come down, right down to, like, this cactusy thing, you can get it as it directly swoops down and sits there. Now, as you saw, it just left, but I actually want to catch it, so I'm going to have to wait. Yay! And there is that bird creature, a cadineal, cadineal, sounds like a tub of plant. But there it is, swoops down, and then it will flutter off in a, any second now. Now, the next animal we are going to find that's closest to us is the bee. Now the bee, as you probably saw, is right there. Now the easiest place to get it is right here next to that cactus because you can just see them. Now you sh it only works if you click it while the bees are out. Now that's the honeybees location. I think you can get it from next down to best dress. Anyway, the next animal we are going to find is the woodchuck I think that's what it's called now the woodchuck appears from behind the cactus perfect timing buddy woodchuck there it is 
and it's just going to perch there and disappear eventually. Now for the scorpion. The scorpion is right next to the hamster place where you can buy hamsters and it's right there. Pretty evil looking little creature, I would agree with you. Now the next animal we are going to find today is that one, the lizard thing. The weird lizard creature that I pointed to. Now the weird lizard creature I pointed to usually scuttles out from the bush and perches on that rock like it's sunbathing or something. So yeah. And there out he scuttles, the gila monster, that's what it's called. It will snap at you a few times because why not? It looks like it needs some food. Low blood sugar maybe. So yeah. Now the next animal we are going to find today is this creature. What's it called? It is called the there. Peregrine Falcon. Per, per, peregrine Falcon. Now the Peregrine Falcon can usually be mistaken for the bird that flies across from there and you can see people like members and non-members just coming up to get it and then you can just see them spending time ages here just trying to get it. And so I usually help a few of them out because I had to suffer myself. And so the Peregrine Falcon is actually near this cat place. Now if you'd like to see, I'm going to make a new video soon and if you'd like to see it then please see it. <laughs> about what that bird could be and it's probably going to be bad, a bad video, but I'm going to try because that's what it's all about. Okay, so the peregrine falcon will usually come across here near the cat place where you can buy cats. Little kitties. Okay, let us watch. And there's the peregrine falcon, let's get it quickly. And I got it just before it dived. It came across pretty quickly. I think my screen might be glitched or something. Anyway, it had a nice low time, just taking its time coming across. Usually it takes its time coming across, and then suddenly it just dives straight down 90 degrees. Which I think is pretty cool, as being one of the fastest birds in the world. So... That's the peregrine falcon. Now the next animal we are going to find today, and the last animal, is the... Okay, that just proves my point of my screen being glitch. Is the tarantula. We're going to find the tra tarantula. Tra <sighs> this is so sad. Tarantula. There we go. Now the tarantula is down here to the left of the waterfall thing. Right there, there it is, tarantula perching here near the waterfall next to this sort of bridge kind of thing and it will scuttle away into the cactus. Now that's all for the journey book guide. Now the price you get from it is a cactus chair, which I don't think in my opinion is the smartest of ideas, a cactus chair. Well, it's going to hurt your butt when you sit on it, because it's spiky. Okay, that's getting annoying. If you've gone back to my old videos, older videos, you can see that this has happened multiple times. So, that's the cactus chair, which is a not the best of ideas, but it's stylish. It fits into a nice blue space. And, yeah, that's your cactus chair, everyday cactus chair. Now, that's it for today's video. And, as you saw, I did that with my spare account, Demonized. And the prize for the Coral Canyons collecting all those items was the cactus chair. Now, if you like the video, please give it a like, subscribe, share the video with AJ friends, and so you won't miss another one of my fantastically funny videos.
Uh huh, uh huh, wink, wink. So you don't miss another video, please hit that notification bell. If you have any questions or want a different, a new video, I'll be happy to make a new one. So that's it from. Okay, I'm just gonna just gonna move away so I can finish the video without this person asking if I can adopt them. Okay, thank you for watching another one of the Moons Masks videos. I hope you have a fabulous day and enjoy your weekend. Bye!